Hey guys, it's Key and it's Key Life Trading. Thanks for tuning into another video, man. Guys, I haven't been holding out on you guys, but I do have trade like trades that I have recorded, but I didn't have time to really edit them. So this one I'm definitely gonna put up because I don't like the fact that I'm leaving you guys in the the dark, I should say. So I'm going to be recording this one, even if I don't edit it, I'm just gonna put it up. I do like to edit my videos so it can look clean and professional, but at the end of the day, I just got to keep it raw. But anyway, we're going to tune in. I'm not looking to be quick to push on the button. I'm just looking at everything, evaluating everything, looking at the price action and volume. Also reading um, level two as well. So I think I'm going to wait. Either I'm going to trade Walmart or maybe I might trade ENVB. Those are the two one, the two that I have on a watch that I'm like focusing on right now. Walmart don't have that much of volume, very light on volume. So, I mean, I might not even trade this one either. I don't know. Volume is very light. Honestly, uh, it's too light for me. I'm not going to trade it. until I start seeing some volume. Cause right now it's only trading 305,000 shares. Uh, so let's tap in back into ENVB. Nice move. Let's get everything ready. Presumption should be, let's see, it halted at 34. Halt usually lasts for five minutes, but it should be resum resuming at um, 39, 52. So that should be the um, start enough um, Just starting off the um the resumption of the um halt. I missed my entry. And the reason why I didn't press the I didn't jump in is because my button here, when I press it, even if it's on market, it don't work. So I would have to press this button down here. So the fact that I missed my entry, I didn't force it. Cause I don't, I don't want to get in too high and then, you know, say, God forbid it re reject and then continue going down. Then I'm basically higher than I want it to be in terms of my entry. But one thing I don't like, and this is one thing you can learn from too. If you miss your entry for whatever reason, it could be technical issues your issue you cause the issue don't take the trade F fall back take a breath and get yourself back in that zone you know and that's all you can do and i mean now most people's gonna look at this uh fomo you know and that can be an issue as well or you miss your trade or your entry fomo start kicking in and then it's like you wish you would have entered when you know you first did, but at the end of the day, if you're not in that mental space where you should have pressed that button and it didn't happen, don't do it because now you're forced trading. You need to be before you take a trade, be comfortable because if you're uncomfortable and then you you fail or the trade go against you, you're gonna feel some type of way. You should you're gonna tell yourself, I should have waited. Why didn't I wait? You know. So let's see. I feel like we're gonna retest that 40. Let's see if we can get an entry. I'll probably jump in at 30. Let's see. Over 30. Let's 
So I'll probably jump in at 30. If price action look like it wants to retest. There's a lot of selling. We got some support. I got a fill of 524. There's a lot of resistance. Question, can we break through that resistance? Watching the level two. We got some support at 19. reading the level two still got some support now okay come on let's break through 25 25 got a, a wall okay okay come on let's go 30 the five cents spread i hate when the um what you call it the spread is so wide well not that wide but you know okay we're in it can we get another squeeze i think we're gonna retest that 40 can we break that 40 can we break it that's taking too long to break, so I sold. So I made $33 on it. It was taking too long to break, and I was looking at, oh, and look, it ripped without me. Perfectly fine. The reason why, woo, look at that. Missed out on me. But anyways, I'm good, good with the $33. The reason why I sold is because that, 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 when it reached at, I think it was 38, there was a big seller, and it retested a couple times. And I'm like, for me now, if it's either it breaks or if it don't breaks, I'm out of it because now what this can do is the longer it stay at that price range, most people would think there's a big seller, a big seller and it can't be filled, right? And when there's not a there's a big wall, sometime if it don't break in time, it will snap and then it will go down in the other direction. Right? So I sold it because I see there was a a, a little a time period where it didn't break. We tested it a couple times. If it would have happened the way how it happened now, within a quick second, where it snapped, hit hit the thirty eight, and it snapped and ripped up, then I'll be perfectly fine. But it didn't work out in my favor. But I still made some money, thirty three dollars on the day, and then commission, and then ECN probably thirty or twenty nine dollars. So that was a good trade. I got a good entry. Let me see my entry point, if I can find it. Give me a second. I'm gonna tell you guys right now my entry. Okay, so I got filled. So basically that was a 10 cent move. I got filled at 524, 305 shares. And I sold at five, well, I didn't sell at it, but the market price that I got filled at was 
534. I mean 535, sorry. So that was like a 10 cent. It should have been more than that, but because I use a market order, and look, it's leaving without me. But because it was a market order, it fills me directly at the space where there's someone trying to um, buy my current amount of shares. So there was a little slippage, which is fine. Green is green. But yeah, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh wow, why you didn't hold it? When you're actually in the zone, you have to take precaution on everything, all right? And that's really it. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I might take one more trade. And if I do, I will definitely um, probably put on social media in terms of like a short or something like that so you guys can see it. But this one, I'm going to upload because I've been sitting on a lot of content because I didn't have time to really fully edit the video. So instead of like having to edit, edit the video, I'm just going to post it probably put up a thumbnail and then have you guys to be able to see my trades. All right. So thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Ask any questions. You know, if you felt like I should have stayed a little bit longer, put it down there. If you think I did the right thing, put it down there in the comment section. I want to have a conversation with you guys. But thanks for tuning in. It's Key and it's Key Life Training. Peace.